We're going to look at a tool that can transform images into 3D models. And the name of this tool is Tripo SR. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now it's available on Hugging Face, the demo version, and it's absolutely free. So yeah, feel free to try it out. Here are some examples. This looks good. An image of a bugger. I don't think the textures are that high res though, but it doesn't look that bad. Check this out. Okay, now this, this can actually be used. I can see this being used as, you know, an extra asset. But you have to hide it far behind because... It's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. All right, so here are some examples of things they generated with it. And you know, we are going to try it ours. So let's upload an image and click on generate. And it's done. Well, like it actually even got the back of the head of the image. Because all I provided was the front image and you could guess what the back would look like. So let's go ahead and download this and see how it will look in our 3D software. And it's available for OBG and GLB format. Let me open up Blender. Now, so like if you import this model, you can see that it doesn't have the textures coming over. So what you can do to fix this is go into your shading editor and then add a new material. And you want to link up a color attribute. Link this to your base color. And the textures will come true. Uh, so let's take a look at the topology of this. Damn. That's a lot of triangles. Change these triangles to quads. Alright. Uh, not bad, not bad. I can see this being useful somehow, you know, like to give your work a start. You can start with this. This is not a bad way to start modeling and sculpting and details. Let's try another model. Let me generate an image. Image of a teddy bear. See how good this actually is right let's see what it's going to do with this it's actually quite fast you have to give it that just some few seconds all right so our images have generated uh, let's, do, let's try this out download this and then let's import that. You want this remove background to be ticked. So when you press generate, it's going to get rid of the background. So let's see if it will actually generate that verse behind it. You know, this is not actually that bad though, like, it's something, at least it's something. Download this. You can actually work with this. <laughs> to some extent. Maybe for like a background asset, you can use this. Uh, what can we generate? Let's push this to the limit. Let me generate an image of a car. on a plain background drag that in again and click on generate image uh, <laughs> i think the more complex the geometry of the object is the harder it is for it to 
generate. Let's try something simple like a Lego character. Lego minifig. Better, you know. <laughs> This better work, you know. I'm relying on this to make this video something. But yeah, you can look at the potentials of this image to 3D generator. Yeah, uh, this doesn't look bad. Download this, Let's try this out. Generates. I hope this comes out good. Like, yeah, not bad, not bad. All right, guys. So this is basically it. this is the demo version. So there's a lot of improvements that can happen over time. But for now, these are the results we are getting. So let me know if you are going to try this out. Leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.